Hi, it's me, Enoch. I have an Art Snacks box. Art Snackies. Now the question is, am I actually going to manage to demo this silly thing this month? Because, boy howdy, have not been able to do the last couple, but, you know, we try. We do what we can with what we have. And sometimes it just gets shoved into everything else. Pull everything out of the box. You have cats. Cats love these boxes. <laughs> All right. So the ooh. the first thing is a the Strata is. 85 pound or 120 GM uh, toned paper in sand. It's Fabriano, and Fabriano is generally a really good ba bright band. But yes, ba Fabriano is a band. Good brand. Good, affordable in art school and drawing classes. It was what we did our final drawing pieces on. I do enjoy toned paper. So. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's like good, good drawing paper, dry media only. So now we get to see what else we got. The bag of doom. We have manual cards. Ooh, snack this month is a safety sucker in orange. Safety sucker. These are my favorite things when I was a kid. Okay, this month is definitely the dry media box of Doom. So we have a Prismacolor kneadable eraser, which is lovely. Kneadable erasers are really great, especially if you work with like charcoal and pastel. Um, and speaking of pastel, we have some Snellier, um, Pa uh, chalk pastels? Or are you chalk pastels? Which kind are you? Or are you in French? No, you are in both English and French. Does not tell me. Extra soft half pastel set of six. <clears throat> so I'm assuming these are like pastel pastels versus chalk pastel or oil pastel. And they're lovely greens. I mean, would I have preferred a different color set? Probably, because not where I default color-wise, but that's fine. Let's see? Now the trick is, can you get them back into the box? Yes, ha. Success. Microns, because I feel like microns show up every couple of months. Which, as always, I prefer the plastic nibs, but they are very nice. They're, they're a good workhorse uh, liner. Can I get the sticker off without tearing things today? Nope. So I'm predicting some sort of graphite pencil in here. Oh! The sticker is very pretty this month. So what we have is a Another Micron, 
but it's in gray, I think. We will find out later. And what are you? And a pencil with a chunky lid. All right. What does the menu have to tell us? There we go. So the mechanical pencil is a zebra MLP squared so not my little pony squared but um it's square though it, it's well it's rectangular um elliptical sheet to prevent rolling and a large eraser and it's a 0.9 millimeter lead so uh the micron the singular micron is in light cool gray So, cool. Archival waterproof, typical micron shenanigans. Oh! Oh! The, the, the micron set is also in cool gray. Alright, cool. That makes more sense now. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. That is the box. Um, theoretically, I will demo the thing. Uh, so I will see you when I do that. Kirch. And this is what it ended up looking like. I kind of went outside the range of the box. But, you know, it's okay. Um, full range of things I used. I used the Sennelier pastels. Um, I used some Ecoline watercolor things. Um, the gray tone micron, 
some chameleon colored pencils as well as a uh, Marco colored pencil, uh, a brush for moving stuff around, water pen, uh, this Chinese calligraphy brush, and the Zebra 2B. So that's what I used to do that. Hurrah. Um, if you like what I do, then consider liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. Um, I also have a Patreon and a Ko-fi if you want to support me in a more financial way. I have commissions. I have a Redbubble. Um, I have all of the sock beds, including Elo and Artful. I'm Tentacle Made. I'm Tentacle Made or Tentacle Made Studios on all of them. Hi, it's me, Enoch. It is January 7th of 2022. Um, I'm kind of talking quiet because no one's napping. They've been in in-service all week and are beat. <sighs> Thoughts, things, um, ouch. I think I've mentioned on here I, I've been seeing, hmm? seeing a behavioralist um, because my doctor wanted me to. Um, well, but we, we, because I wasn't feeling well today. Um, stomach bug, or it's like I'm on a new spicy sense, which is also overlaps into anxiety and pain management. And I think I'm just having like a react, like, like a low key reaction to it. But I woke up not feeling good. When I c called in to call off, I, I, ha I had had a question about, um, because the neighborhood ban pandemonium is upping its game with continued Omicron and the new one from France. Um, if there were a way to do our sessions virtually, and we can do them over the phone, which I have anxiety about the phone, but... It's le it is less on the level of anxiety than going out and potentially getting the pandemonium in some way, shape, or form. And it also means less anxiety for stairs and for it being slick and getting in and out of vehicles, which I'm really good at. It's just, it's like, it's like I'm good at doing the stairs. I'm good at doing the walking. I'm good at getting into vehicles, but when you, like, daisy-chain those all together, thus endeth a sparrow. It's rough. It's hard. It, it, it's like talking to her on the phone took spoons, but I actually have some spoons left over versus if I had gone in to see her I would have no spoons and would probably have none tomorrow. So we're going to do this for a little bit, I think. At least until winter decides to stop being winter. I know, what does this have to do with art? It means that I have, like, more brain to art later. Yay! I did get my art snacks in the mail yes in the po I did get my art snacks in the post yesterday and I'm very excited about it. Um, I need to do a demo. See if I can manage to do a demo. I don't I don't think I have it in me today, but I might tomorrow. It, it was really nice stuff and all stuff I'll use. Which you know sometimes is a hit or a miss with art snacks about whether or not you will use the things. So, 
Enoch, but after my camera decided to go, nope, I'm dead. Um, long time after, several hours after. Um, this week has been kind of weirdly emotional. Um, it is the Vlog Vlogbrothers 15th anniversary and also their 2000th video. And I'm not sure why, but I'm really emotional about it. So there's that. So, hi, yes, it's me, Enoch. Um, been, it's been several days since I talked to my camera last, like, literally, the battery died in the middle of what I was saying, and I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, my new spicy sad seem to be doing their thing with mostly not a lot of side effects, so yay. We'll take that. Um, I'm sitting here ordering, well, technically pricing, pricing um, Patreon print stuff, because I decided that if I don't have people who have subscribed to that tier, I can get them and put them in my shop. And it'll be a way to, like, build up inventory, potentially. I don't know. Um, so what I was thinking about getting done was my Year of the Tiger, 2022 Year of the Tiger print, and the Marie Laude Lude, Larry Lude, um, Horse Skull, and... Uh, one of my new gelatinous cubes. I don't know. I, I need to, like, update my red bubble and things. Yeah. I'm just... Evidently, I'm really tired right now. So, I'm going to go back to work instead of talking at the camera. Okay, bye. Hi, it's me, Enoch. Um, it is January 18th. I still have not, uh, demoed the Art Snacks box yet. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm having issues with, like, pain and stuff the last couple weeks. Um... Which, the new Spicy Sads is supposed to help with the pain somewhat. But I think it intersected with a really bad flare. So, i am been not a happy camper. And there's also the not wanting to bother Gnome with me talking to a camera. Yeah, you'd think after how many years of doing this kind of nonsense that I would be okay in talking to a camera in front of my partner, but apparently I'm still having issues with it. So, la-dee-da. They're currently off doing laundry, so hence the camera. Which means I should try and, like, do the art snacks demo. But I don't feel like, I don't feel real great either. We have weather coming in and um... I'm playing with my phone case, or my camera case, um, and it's like my, my new spicy sads sometimes make me feel icky, and <sighs> not that any of this is things that people want to know, but here you go. Transparency and mental health. Here, here we are. I, I am on a waiting list to, um get tested for an official diagnosis for ADHD and or ASD, which yay me. It's not like I have a whole lot of like, probably don't, I have no clue. Um, I probably don't need medication or like more support structures because I was basically raised like I had ADHD. So, 
I have my coping strategies and my support system's already in place, but you know, who knows? Clearly, I am not doing good with the talking today, so I'm gonna go. I'll be back later. Hi, it's me, Enoch. Uh, it's February 1st. I am seeing what I can do to switch my mentality about vlogging from something I do extra in addition to my studio practice and something that is an ex so that it becomes something that is an extension of my studio practice. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. Um, so things, things that have been happening. Where did the fuck did I slip it? So, I got... Mmm, that's gonna be one of those days. Uh, I got some of those Ecoline watercolor markers. Um, and boy howdy. Was this a tactical error? Because I love them and want all of them and there are more colors. <sighs> Mistakes have been made. I mean, it's, it's a logical extension of my tendency to use water-based markers as a sort of watercolor. So, it would make sense. Watercolor markers. Why I didn't do this sooner? Probably money. What, what what else is going on? I finally demoed the Art Snacks box from January. Because, I don't know, I, I'm still having, like, brain issues, and I'm sorting out my, my, my spicy sads drugs, and we haven't even started spi sorting out my uh, big concern drugs, but... That was, this is what I did with the Art Snacks box. Except I added Ecoline watercolor to it and colored pencil. I figured it was late, very, very, very late. I could do whatever the hell I wanted. There we go. Other things, other things, other things. Because I'm so bad at doing the talkie. I got... Let me show you here. Some cute little paw gloves. I am very excited about them. I feel like I can do the TikTok trends now. I, I have pr problems that my hands are always cold and hurty and... So... Because I deserve something cute to make my hands feel better. Also, there's only so many hours a day you can wear compression gloves. I think Ariel was trying to break into Gnome's class. Yes, that's another thing. Gnome is teaching from home again because of the neighborhood pandemonium. So, that's fun. I mean, I would rather them be home here than be out in the world and potentially becoming friends with, with dangerous infections. So, alright, I'm going to go. I'm going to go do other things. Maybe I'll even edit video. <sighs> Probably shouldn't get my hopes up. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, it's me, Enoch. I have another Art Snacks to unbox for you. Even though I have not edited and posted the January one. This is February. So, let's crack into this thing. Now let's see if I can actually open it the first try. <laughs> yes. Never happen again, mark it on the calendar. Oops. 
Alrighty. So, first thing first is the, uh, because it's Arch Next Plus, is the Strata, which is agave watercolor paper, which I've never heard of before. And it is a 290 GM, GSM, or 135 pounds. So, chunky boy. Break into this and see what it feels like. Good. And it's it's a block, which means that it has it's been glued on the side so that stays flat while you work. And then you take a an exacto knife or I prefer to use I can find where it's hiding. Or I prefer to use micro spatulas. I have the this from paper making and book making and it works really well on watercolor blocks. So it is cold press, I want to say. It's got it's got nice texture. It's pretty much a bright white. Half of it is in German, so that's always good, right? Okay, it's got like German and French and Spanish in here too. Oh, it's bamboo. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's exciting. It's bamboo and cotton. Cold pressed homogeneous surface texture. It's all kinds of watercolor. Cool. Agave fiber and cotton rag. That was agave a type of bamboo. Alright, so basically this company works in sustainable paper making. Which is cool. We also have an aqua board. Which is a masonite board that's been um, uh, gessoed with in this case, a watercolor surfacing. Gesso, it's not gesso, but it, it has a watercolor ground on top of it so that you can do watercolor painting on it. And it'll work more like a paper does than if you use straight up gesso. And the, the snack this month is a strawberry Laffy Taffy, which is always good. Open the cream. Tissue paper, can we do it today without ripping it? Very clean. I mean, it ripped the paper, but it didn't like take the paper. So yay me. Oh. And this month is a very watercolor heavy month, if you hadn't guessed from the watercolor paper in the ground. So we have two koi, uh, watercolor tubes which this is Prussian blue which Prussian Prussian blue is one of my favorite colors and everything and a burnt sienna which is not something I use typically but maybe I shall um, I actually have a koi palette so I am familiar with the brand um, the sticker is cute and has hearts We have a black zebra, zebra um, pen, which you can never have enough black pens. All it takes is one good, you know, stint uh, of using black for everything and you're out. And a Princeton brush, a little round brush, kind of, you know typical watercolor person brush. It's very special. It has its own little bag that it's in. 
Right. Which pencils and brushes are nice? I, I don't... I'm kind of indifferent about them. I'm weird about brushes. So, okay. That's everything. Let's look at the, the menus to see if there's anything I missed in telling you. <laughs> the watercolor paper is vegan. Which, okay, let me explain why it's vegan. Sizing, um, which is what you put into paper to control how much water it intakes, is often like gelatin, like gelatin based. It, um, so it's like animal product, synthetic sizing. So it's 70% renewable agave fiber and 30% cotton rag. There, finally, got the all the information correctly. The the Princeton brush is a where it's a synthetic stable in sit and it's a size six. About the koi watercolor, basically watercolor, um, and the black pen is a zebra sensations brush pen. So there you go. There is the stuff. Theoretically, I will manage a dem demo at some point. Hopefully, this is not a moment when I have to put, like, spoilers. They never did. Um, alright, so, watercolor every time this month. Rock on. So, I am going to go and do more work, and I shall see you all in the demo. Hi, it's me, Enoch. Um, sorry, everything is like wonky today. Um, it is February 7th, and my hair is being aggressively floofy and curly and stuff, which is funny because my hair isn't actually curly. So, things, um, I don't know. Duh, I'm so bad at this. I really am bad at this. I have no idea what to talk about. I never do. For those of you who've been here for a while, you'll remember our snacks. I, last month, month before, I got this accordion book. I started doing some work in it. Just laying down the thing. Um, their Ecoline uh, watercolor markers these things so of course I held that upside down so that's what I used to do that base I really like these yes all my pin decorations on it in representation news there's a non-binary squishmallow at least one, which is exciting. Evidently, I'm having a day where I'm just gonna like have all the issues. Um, hold on just a second, I'm gonna move you a little bit. And now you're low. I wanted to show you the book I got. It's Elegant Spirits by, by Amano. Yoshitaka Amano. He goes by Amano, so it's like I had to look at what his given name was. But it's um, basically his pieces from Tales of the Genji and like his fairy pieces. But like, look at that. Look at how gorgeous. I love his line work. I love his the way he just like floods spaces with soft color. He does he does things with bright color that are just so good too. It's such a pretty book. I'm so happy I have it. I love this work so much. It's one of those things that um I grew up with a mono. Um because I was like part of the first generation of anime like being specifically uh, marketed as anime um, 
So, like, I grew up with Vampire Hunter D and Robot Carnival, and, um, I've loved him since Vampire Hunter D, and unlike, heck, I'm trying to not drop things, and unlike Osama Tezuka, who did, like, Astro Boy and Unico, where you can really see, like, not exactly a one-to-one, -one, um, and influence on my my art style, but you can definitely see that there's an F influence in my art style. Amano's really in there, too, um, but more in, like, the gesturality, gesturality, and how his abstraction gestures towards detail and his use of color and things like that. It's like he is definitely a part of my artist DNA. I'm so excited to have this book. I love it so, so much. But yes, that that came in the post in the last week, I think. Um, if you have the chance, uh, see if you can find some of Amano's uh, paper operas. They are some of my favorite things he does. He does, like, um, Wagner's Rings of Nimbule, does the, um, he does Tristan and his Sold. Oh, I just lost the name of it. It's one about the boat. I love when my brain won't do the thing. Opera about a boat. The Flying Dutchman. He, he, he has some about the Flying Dutchman, too. If you're new here, I really enjoy opera, so. Alright, I guess I should go, like, do some work. You know, I should, like, actually edit the video I have from the last month, because, boy howdy, I have ignored doing it. So, I'll see you later. Healing orbs. Oh, well. There's a marauder right there, yeah. So, I got stuff from Art Snacks, which I've opened the bag because it was a big bag. But they did this, you know, bait with, like, different art snack supplies, things, oh, there's extra stickers, and I thought, why not? Okay. So first thing the first is the cute stick, the cute extra stickers. My order summary, which you do not need to see. And boxes of things. So, this is the dry one, I think. And it is Derwent Lion. Can't word. They're basically microns. A pencil sharpener. I'm too tired to try and undo the thing. Um, a crack marker. Pencil. Black line marker, a gnome, a sticker. A snack. And basically what I'm realizing when I'm looking at this is that these are the basically art snacks from different months. Just like tarted up as something new. So I probably have all this stuff already. Because I already have all this stuff in this box. Including, I remember I had the warhead too. You can do what you need to do, no? I know. Alright. I'm stuck. 
would you please get the thing from outside? Yeah. Executive dysfunction, it is a real thing, folks. This is apparently the May one. So we have Smarties, which will go to Gnome because I don't like Smarties. Two big old things of gouache, which I'm wondering if I didn't like get May that last year. That's entirely possible. There were a couple of months that I didn't. We just got a big box from Amazon, so, you know, things going on in the background. The sticker. I have all the stickers. Eraser. Pencil and brush. Ease of funky brush. With one box, just what we put everything in to hold it. So everything we can just fly in that over there. So that was the paint, the painting box, which was apparently last May's. Does not help that my hands are. I, I have a case of morning hands, which means they don't want to work. Ooh, gave me a cherry dum dum. Goo. Cool. Cherry is my favorite. Ink, ink. More orange. I swear to God, I got the same exact box for a couple of these. Ooh, but this is fluorescent orange versus just the orange orange. So, yay. I do love fluorescent. skulls so this was October fancy pencils brush and a curl marker gum wash tape This was the July one. So many hanging out boxes. This is the worst case of morning hands. Jeez. Cute little Sherbert sticker. Water pen. I love these water pens. Uh, fancy pencil. Another one of those art crayons, which is cool because I wouldn't wear that. And I Daniel. Yep, there goes my hands. Daniel Smith, extra fine watercolor thing. So. Basically, not real bad. Hello, littlest friend. Oh, a kitten. A tiny bean. Do you need to come out? Did you hear the recording and decide you must must visit? Okay, come on. 
There we go. A kitten. A kitten. We love a kitten. So basically, like discount regular old art snacks boxes, which is cool. Um, wish I would have known that because I had a lot. I had a lot. Of, at least I probably still would have done the thing, but I would have known that. Because um, boy, howdy, do I have a lot of like graphite pencils, and I really don't use graphite pencils. And I also got stuff like the watercolor pen and the fluorescent orange paint. Sorry, Ariel has decided to like destroy the universe. In case you wanted to know. Okay. Bye. So, really quick update. Uh, it's February 27th. Uh, we're in day three of Russia's invasion of Euc Ukraine. And Ukraine just being the boss-ass bitches of the universe. Uh, but I wanted to show you that I got a couple Sugar House ceramics pieces. Got one of their little... Okay, they're not little, but, you know, pinch mugs. This is technically, like, a pen thing, but I'm going to use it for paint water. And a desk tray, which I'm going to use as palette. It just fits with how I do things more. Um, and I also have committed to being a Hobonichi bitch. So... <laughs> yes, Hobonichi bitch. Sorry, I keep getting my finger in the camera for some reason. Uh, I also got a new freaking desk, which is way better than my last one. Hopefully, it will survive a year, because the last two have not. Also, um, I always forget to do this. But if you like what I do, you can find me at Tentacle Maid Studios or Tentacle Maid basically everywhere. I have a Kofi and a Patreon. Um, I have a Redbubble that I've been actually like adding new stuff to, like a little bit every day. Well, most days. There have been a couple days where I had migraines and couldn't look at screens, so that did not happen. I mean, I take commissions too. If you're interested in that, I also have a shop. Uh, which needs to be updated, but I have a shop, and I don't know, I just, if you'd like to support me, please do, um, but whatever you choose to do, because you do you, know that the world is better for having you in it, so do good, be kind, be brave, encourage. <laughs>